Welcome everyone to Bonifab Custom. My name is Rob and today I'm going to show you just how I build a horse trailer bar. Now I never built a horse trailer or a bar before but uh, why not put both of them together? This project's for a wedding uh, that's coming up and we needed a really cool bar for outside. Let's get into taking a look at the drawings for this horse trailer bar. Okay, so I have these preliminary drawings and of course they're all messed up already because um, I put them somewhere that was dirty. So let's take a look at this top view here. You can see it's, it's going to be a two axle. Um, I'm going to use some torsion axles for this. And with this horse trailer, the way I've seen other horse trailers is those uh, back axles are actually uh, put further back on the trailer. And I, I guess it's because the horse itself um, that goes into a horse trailer is more midway. So um, it wouldn't be as heavy as in the frontier section. So they want to put the axles right underneath where the, the weight's going to be. But that being said, this is not going to have horses in it. It's going to be a bar. So um, you could see the framework that I have here. Basically, it's about six feet wide inside the axles, um, 108 inches to the front where that radius is, and then whatever the tongue is like left. Now I'm going to use a um, some of the material I have. I have a two by two piece that's going to run along the spine here all the way to the tongue. And I think I'm going to be using some um, two and a half inch or three inch angle for the outside. And then I have a bunch of um, uh, three quarter by uh, inch and a half tube. And that's what I want to make the most of the frame with. Um, now I'm going to be bending up some uh, quarter by two to make these radiuses. And I kind of have it most, most of it in my head, the finishing part, how I'm going to sheet it and stuff but it might change as I'm going. So I don't want to get too much into detail about that. Um, here you could see kind of an isometric view of it. The bar is going to have a window. So basically, well, not really a window, but a, a, like a counter that um, the bartender can serve drinks from this part here. And the rest, like in the front, we're probably going to put like a counter in the back and some refrigeration inside there. And here's a side view of it. It's a little more clear of how tall it is. So uh, basically six feet where it's straight and then it's going to have that curved top with a radius and that's going to extend another foot. So basically it's going to be about seven feet tall and about nine feet to the nose um, where the rounded part is to the front. So let's uh, start cutting up some steel and um, start laying out for the for the uh, base and then we can start working on the sides and um, we'll get into more detail as I start putting it together. I don't have it all like uh, drawn up. I kind of, this is just a preliminary, but um, I have a lot of it kind of as a thought in my head. So hopefully that works out.
Okay, so I have the two sides done. And you can see here's the, the window part or the counter part. And you can see it's all welded together. Now I have it just mounted on there on the frame and just with some clamps. And I have the back section on there too. You could see the curved where the curved roof is going to be. I'm going to add some more to the, to the front. And right now I, uh, I'm just setting up this curved part so it matches up with the bottom curved part. So I'm j I just have that kind of fixtured in there. I'm going to put some supports. I got to put a little flange on there so it can, when I put it up here, it sits right on top of here. And then I'll, I'll weld in the uprights all the way around the front nose. And hopefully that sheet metal will just curve around that, um, those uprights in theory. That's what I'm thinking. And uh, you can see here, I put the sheeting on the bottom. Uh, it's one eighth steel sheet and it's kind of like an old galvanize that I had. So I kind of just uh, cleaned up where I had to weld. And basically I'm just going to give it a scrub down and I'm going to paint it uh, with something, something anti-slip, hopefully. I have my uh, two inch ball uh, receiver on there. Well, not the receiver, but the end for the trailer. And I have also the jack. Um, that's where it's going to be mounted right on that tongue part there. Okay, so now I'm just going to get this welded up and start mounting that up. The key is to try and get all this framing done uh, today. Uh, so then I could just concentrate on sheeting it with the, uh, with the uh, galvanized or with the painted steel. I got a good part of it done. The framing is basically all finished. And now the next part I'm going to do is start getting ready to sheet the outside. And I don't know exactly how I'm going to mount it on there. So I don't know if I'm going to use some rivets or some self tappers, but I'm going to try a couple of things and then just see what works out the easiest way of sheeting the outside because it's, like I said, again, it's, it just has to be enclosed. It's not a real horse trailer. It's just kind of like a looking horse trailer. Um, but it's going to be a bar in the end, but, uh, you'll see it on the next video. Uh, thanks again for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and push that button for notifications for the next part of the horse trailer bar. Thanks.